Hello, this is Mark with Semantics Research, today with your daily report. So it was today, or today was a rather boring end to the May month as we ended relatively unchanged for equities on the month. I do think the spare market will be prolonged unless we see a rapid turnaround in the macro data. Also, we've noticed that consumers have been taking a lot of credit card debt to maintain a lifestyle with high inflation. This week generally is a bit light on events and is holiday shortened due to the three day weekend. But we do have an ECB uh, press conference on Thursday and a CPI on Friday, which are the only notable potential risk events. I think we will see less volatility until FOMC in mid-June. We are approaching key technical resistance at 4200 and above. And I do think that it is highly unlikely we could sustain a rally above 4200. Maybe we'll have an offshoot to 4300, but we are getting at the range extremes. Many are hoping for a Fed pivot similar to quarter four of 2018, which did prove to be a key turning point for that year. But you, you cannot say that previous history is perfectly correlated with the current situation as there is much turmoil in the macro picture as the Fed is likely forced to deal with inflation. Inflationary pressures still remain strong despite many touting peak inflation, which is just buzzwords that don't really mean much. At this point, a Fed pivot or pause cannot do much in the face of the current situation. The Fed cannot fix a broken supply chain nor end commodity shortages. It's rather hard to say what the Fed will do, but it is certain that the Fed is behind the inflation curve and is stuck in a difficult position. Yes, the bonds have done much of the heavy lifting for the Fed, but as long as the war goes on, reopening stalls, and other headwinds, it is likely that inflation will remain sticky for the time being. If we take a look at the credit market, it is signaling strength as this actually gives Fed room to raise rates more. And the spreads between the highly rated bonds and junk bonds are tightening. So unless credit starts cratering, I do not expect the Fed to let up. Today, we had a consumer confidence index. Consumer confidence decreased slightly in May following an increase in April. It seems like there is less spending on bigger ticket products like cars, homes, and appliances due to the uh, higher interest rates and high inflation. Inflation expectations in May virt are virtually unchanged from the April's elevated levels. Looking ahead, many expect surging prices and additional interest rate hikes to pose continued downside risk to consumer spending this year. Now, if we take a look at the options, we can see that last week's rally was not really supported by any material call buying, but rather a sharp drop in put purchases going into the holiday weekend. I, I rather suspect many of the big boys are went off to the Hamptons on vacation as... Generally, they go off uh, Thursday night and let the junior traders hold down the fort on Friday. This market continues to be illiquid and be dominated by buying and selling. I would say around 3800 we were technically oversold as the ES, generally being a very thick market, tends to retrace moves and not go up or down in a straight direction. And if we take a look at Amazon, we are up pretty nicely on the day. It seems like Amazon is rallying into the stock split. Now, if we take a look at the market profile, it was pretty much a choppy direction without any proper direction. Anyone really buying up here is rather late momentum 
chasing buyers and perhaps some short covering. We did close on the ES uh, within Friday's value area high. And yes, so if you take a look at the treasuries, it was the treasuries were down and acted like a weight on equities as well as gold being down, signal, signaling hawkishness. Going to tightening tomorrow, I think, if the treasuries remain elevated, uh, it could add some more pressure on the indices going into quantitative tightening tomorrow. And if we t take a look at the commodities like wheat, oil, and natural gas, it seems like we have a bit of risk off in the commodity side. So yeah, I mean, there wasn't really much going on today, as it was rather uneventful, besides Biden meeting with Powell and renominating him for the Fed chair. But yeah, anyways, I would like to thank you all for watching, and please check out the link in, dis in the description to keep updated with our Twitter and Substack. This is Mark with Semantics Trading signing out and I will see you in the flip side. Thanks.